Chapter 30 Who am I? I am the Self, Atman. I am Being Consciousness. Being is my nature. I am the Self-Aware Witness Consciousness. I have no identity with the three states of waking, dream, and deep sleep. They pass and repass in my presence. I am the knower of reality. I have my identity with the divine. Being unattached to any fluctuations of the life force, the prana, and the manas, the mind, I have neither joys nor sorrows. These pertain to the states of waking and dream, which are the mental modes of the individual soul. In the waking state, he is known as the Vishwa. In the dreaming state, he is known as the radiant Tajasa. In the sleeping state, he is known as the wise Prajna. I am the knower of reality. These three states are really non-existent. They only function as the result of the latent tendencies, the vasanas of the mind. And even while they function and screen my real identity, I remain as I am, the self. I am the present, ever-present. So I am not newly discovered or obtained, only I have no delusion about myself. I am unborn, so death cannot affect me. For me, death does not mean the loss of a body, whether gross, manifest, or subtle, or causal. To me, death means only identifying the self with the non-self. This is intoxication, and this intoxication is death. So has Sri Maharshi taught. The discrimination which removes this intoxication is immortality. This immortality is not obtained after prolonged penance and at some distant point of time. It is obtained here and now. As a result of this discrimination, I steady myself to inquire who I am. After this inquiry, as instructed by the benign guru, I find the I to be the real substratum, the self ever aware. All this inquiry is only on the path For the final goal is the supreme wholeness, into which there is nothing to inquire. I am the final goal of the path. The reality that I am appears to be hidden by confusion and a veil. But by the grace of the Guru, I being fixed firmly in my own reality, The veils have fallen away, both inside and out. So I am the one indivisible, the Turya. Yet though it be termed the fourth state, with reference to the changing three states, yet this fourth is the substratum and the primal state of being. When this Turiya is in contact with the Guru's real nature, then is established being, and then is the one whole. I am the heart, the one eternal I, I.